Hey everyone, Mr. Riedel here. Okay, I want you to imagine with me for a minute. Imagine you're outside in the summer and the hot sun is beating down on you. You're exhausted from the heat and you think about your favorite way to cool down. Enjoy some tasty ice cream. Just as you're about to go raid your freezer, you get a message from your friend. They are lonely at home, so you decide you want to do something special for them. You remember that their favorite cool treat is ice cream too. So you decide that you are going to surprise them with a visit and ice cream delivery to enjoy together. Unfortunately, your family can't drive you, but it is a short walk to their home. The problem is that by the time you bring the bowl of ice cream to your friend, it will be completely melted by the summer sun. So, how can you keep the ice cream cold on your walk there? Okay everyone, so that is the setup for the engineering design project that we are going to do for our heat transfer unit in science. Engineering is using scientific principles in order to design and build something that will solve a problem. What we are going to do is build something at home that will help solve our problem of keeping the ice cream cold while we deliver it to our friend in the hot summer sun. This graphic here is an example of the engineering design process. So we started with a problem. In this situation, it is the problem of how we can keep the ice cream cold. Now that we've identified the problem, we need to research and brainstorm ways that we can solve the problem. Research and brainstorming includes knowing a little bit more about the science of heat transfer in this situation. In our previous science lessons, we learned about conduction, convection, and radiation, the ways that heat is transferred. We also learned that heat energy always moves from hot to cold. In our situation, the heat energy from the sun is moving into the ice cream in order to move the molecules and melt it. Conductors transfer heat easily. Like if we had a metal bowl, then that would warm up the ice cream faster. Insulators do not transfer heat easily, like this picture of a styrofoam cup preventing the hot cocoa from transferring its heat to you so it doesn't burn your hand. It's keeping the heat from coming out. The same idea can be used with ice cream. If we had a styrofoam bowl, it would help by not transferring the heat from your hands into the ice cream. But I don't have any styrofoam bowls at home. I don't have styrofoam anything at home. And even if I did, the ice cream would still be exposed to the air and heat can still transfer into the ice cream through the air. Take a look at this. I did my own experiment at home to see how long it would take for ice cream to melt. I put a few scoops of delicious cherry ice cream into a normal ceramic bowl and I watched it melt. It took about two hours to melt in my kitchen at about room temperature. Some of you might be thinking, Mr. Riedel, why did you waste perfectly good ice cream just for science? But don't worry, I didn't waste anything. I ended up pouring it into a blender, mixed it up with a couple of uh, bananas, and I had a delicious cherry banana milkshake. Yummy. Now, I know that not everyone has ice cream in their freezer at home, so I did the same experiment with just a bowl of ice cubes, and they took about the same amount of time to melt, just over two hours. So if I think about it, and I have this bowl of ice cream for my friend, and I want to deliver it to them, and I don't want it to melt, what am I going to use to insulate it to keep it cold? Hmm. Well, that is what this project is all about. And that is for you to problem solve. After this video, your teacher will give you some detailed instructions for how you are going to design and build and present your engineering design project. So stay tuned about that. But for now, here are just some of the basics. So back to the engineering design process. After you research to learn about how heat transfer works and brainstorm ways that you can keep the ice cream cold, then you can begin to build. You will need to use materials from around your home to build something that follows these three guidelines. Number one, protect the bowl of ice cream or ice. It could be protected with Tupperware or a box or even something creative like a Lego or Duplo structure. Number two, insulate the bowl of ice cream. Once it is protected, you can use some sort of insulator that you have at home to keep the ice cream or ice cold. 
You can think of things that usually keep things warm, like blankets or coats, and it will work the same way to keep things cold. You might be able to find other items around your house too, like stuffed animals, crumpled up paper balls, or anything else that might keep the ice cream insulated. Number three, you need to transport your treat to your friend. Since you are walking to their home, you need to carry it with a bag, backpack, or something else to deliver it easily. So that's the build step of the process. Next is the test step. Once you have built your project, you will test it out to see if it works. Now, the best way to know whether or not your project is keeping the bowl of ice cream cold is if you test it alongside a control. So, we will have two bowls of ice cream, or ice. Bowl number one is the control ice cream, which will be sitting on your kitchen counter or table, melting at room temperature. Bowl number two is the variable ice cream, which will be inside the project you will build to keep it cold. You will set a timer for two hours, and then after that you will check to see how much each bowl has melted. Hopefully you will have built something that keeps bowl number two from melting like bowl number one did. At the end, you will record video of both bowls and what they look like so you can present your results to the rest of the class. This leads us to our final steps to the engineering design process, present solutions and improving our design. Everyone will be presenting their results to the class, no matter if it works or if it doesn't. Even if a design fails, that is how we learn to build something better and to improve. When we learn what works and doesn't work, then we can improve a design so it can help solve our problem even better. If we discover a new problem in the process, then we can continue the process to solve more and more problems. Ultimately, we can use this process to help solve many problems in our lives. And not just fix our own problems, but more importantly, we can help others. Like a lonely person who could use a visit from a friend with a delicious bowl of ice cream. Remember, if you feel stuck on this project uh, because maybe you don't have ice cream at home, then try using ice cubes. And if you don't have ice cube trays in your freezer at home, then try talking to your teacher. If you need to, your teacher will help you modify the project so that you can still participate and still learn using the engineering design process. All right, have fun creating, everybody.